So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can put the whole world in Unreal Engine 5. It's really easy. We are going to use a free plugin, uh, which is called Cesium in the Epic Marketplace. Uh, but I'm sure it's the same process for the fab. You can download this from fab as well. Let me show you how we can do that. So here you are going to search for Cesium. And uh, yeah, Cesium for Unreal Engine click here download and uh, I'm sure it start the process and one more thing uh, I have tried to use the Google API key but uh, my credit card wasn't working so I have found a new method of how we can use the cesium plugin without using the Google API so there are tons of tutorials if you want to use the Google API version uh, it's really easy go and check that out but here I will show you how we can use the cesium plugin without using the Google API and using this plugin by using its own ION version uh, so uh, let's get start the tutorial uh, I'm going to open up the Unreal Engine 5 and in the meantime I'm going to go to the library and here I will search for cesium and uh, I will install to the engine so it works for me in the 5.4 and I'm pretty sure it will work for you 5.5. So our Unreal Engine is starting. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how what we can achieve with this plugin. So I have combined. So I'm going to lower down the volume to avoid any strikes. So here you can see I have created this map while using the Cesium plugin. It's really helpful. So yeah, as you can see, it's really beautiful. Uh, I have used the ultra dynamic sky for these clouds and it looks awesome. So now get back to work. Here I have opened Unreal Engine project browser and uh, I'm going to start with the blank project cesium1 and here I'm going to put this here and create this so the first thing first we are going to create a new level an empty level and for cesium we are going to go in the plugins and search for cesium and enable this it will require a restart so let's restart this so it has been restart so now it will show you just like this but if not we are going to search for windows and here it is the cesium so the first thing we are going to do is to connect the cesium and it will open up browser window so uh, as for me, I have already logged in and verify this account through my Gmail, but you are going to have, uh, you are going to face a different option. And after the verification, uh, this thing will pop up. You are going to click on allow and uh, it asks us to exit from this tab. So yeah, it's working pretty fine now. So I'm going to operate a new level, an empty level. And here I'm going to create uh, cesium sky first so yeah here is our sky and the next thing is we are going to put the google photorealistic 3d tiles this option will pop up don't worry and yeah so you can use uh, here create a new token i have already created this so i'm going to use project default token and uh, now within no time it will start loading our map So your map might show up earlier because you got the good internet, not for me. So it will show something like this and we are good to go. So as you can see, it's pretty much, it's not that high definition, but it will do the work if we want to use an aerial uh, imagery. So now let me show you how we can use a custom location in the cesium 
and for that we are going to take help from coordinates and uh, in your browser you are going to search for example i'm going to search for istanbul coordinates so here are our coordinate um, in here i'm going to go to the geo reference and here i'm going to put that and uh, here so i'm sure it will take us to the istanbul so don't worry i guess uh, it's not there so we will play with the date and time for that i'm going to go in the cesium sky and uh, in the day i'm going to yeah it is working now so yeah now it's morning here so yeah it's really easy and it's really useful and uh, it's helpful as well so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you face any problem do let me know in the comment section and uh, yeah go and check out the discord and join the community and i will see you in the next quick and easy tutorial